Hello everybody, this is Sukaboo no Silvertory 2. Just doing a quick little update regarding Chronexia and the Eight Seals. I've been reading this for the past week. I am now a little more than halfway through the book. It's been really entertaining read for me so far. First time I've read a book that wasn't initially written for an English audience that wasn't from Japan. This is actually written in French by the YouTube user Misty slash Connexia. You can go check out his channel. He does lots of anime reviews. Not necessarily of what may be popular right now. So you might find something a little unusual that you may have never heard of. But still would recommend it if you like the anime reviewer kind of channels. He's one of the more popular reviewers out there. Just a little notice before I get too far into this, I will not provide any major spoilers or anything like that, so you don't have to worry if you don't like to have things ruined for you or anything like that. I'll just talk about which characters I like and, eager, and are eager to learn more about, so I'll just get right to it now. So far, one of my favorite characters is actually not the main OC, Misty slash Quinexia. I actually quite enjoy Gab, which has surprised me, but he's been pretty fun to watch as he gets to know certain members of the group that he's in now. And the sort of healthy rivalry he has with the main character, Tom. I would. And the character that I actually want to learn more about, even though he seems to be considered the villain, would be Vince. So, it'd just be interesting to see more about him down the line, where he comes from, etc. Which I'm sure we'll learn about in the next books or so. Just gotta exercise a little thing called patience. And I also like the little fights they had with the pirates and on their journey. That was quite an entertaining read as well. And I also actually liked Pearl before something happened where something changed her as well. So her evolution has been interesting to follow. So I'm sure there's a lot more that other people could say about this book. I'm not an official reviewer or, any or anything. I don't do reviews all the time of books or movies or anything like that, but I thought I would do this just as a favor to the author and to people who might be interested in reading the book or checking out this channel. I'll just show a little bit on the inside here. This is the dedication because this is the book that I won in the drawing from a couple of weeks ago. And then show you what chapter I'm at. Yes, that is an Edward Elric bookmark. So I'm currently on page 206-207. I'm not going to, like I said, give any major spoilers. This is just some of the things that I liked and looking forward to learn more about. So, I'm 
And there you go. This is my little more than halfway through reading of review of Phoenixia and the Eight Seals. I will provide links down below for his channel where you can buy either the French or the English copies of his book and there's also digital copies now as I can recall. So I hope you enjoy this. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.